Oh, hey there, Philips Hue owner that clicked on this video just to tell me that I'm a big jerk. Please just bear with me for a second. I didn't make this to wind you up, I promise. Uh, I genuinely have compared both the Philips Hue ecosystem and its products to a far cheaper solution. And I think if you will bear with me to the end of this video, I can convince you that I'm right. Philips Hue is a big flipping waste of money. This smart bulb, stop leaving. I can see what you're doing. You're clicking that button because you've gone, I'm not going to watch another smart bulb video. This video is not about this smart bulb. Although these are great and I will demonstrate them as part of this video, the point of this video actually, if it's to sell you anything at all, is to sell you on the idea of the platform that it lives on. Uh, this bulb works on a platform called Toya Smart Life. And you might have heard of it because almost every Chinese smart home product out there works on the Toyo Smart Life platform these days. Uh, and the reason is, it's actually really, really solid. Um, it's not just solid, it's trustworthy. And here's why. The Toyo Smart Life platform was built with one goal in mind. They wanted to create a platform that would connect small-time manufacturers to she that should not be named, and Google Home, and if for this then that. Uh, Small-time manufacturers, they can't afford to maintain the servers that make these communications go backwards and forwards between devices, and they don't have the skills required to be able to create the software that makes all that happen. So what Toya did was they created a platform that had software to stick on people's mobile phones, uh, and they created the micro chips to stick in the LED strips, and the light bulbs, and the cameras, and the whatever smart home device you can think of, and there are flipping loads of them, uh, and the small time manufacturers then sold them to me and you. So why does this make the Toyo Smart Life platform any more trustworthy than Philips Hue? It doesn't. But I wanted to give you an idea of the scale of the operation we're talking about here. Just because it's not in your country doesn't mean it's small. It's absolutely flipping huge in China and it's making plenty of money. It is no more likely than Philips Hue to suddenly go bust. And in fact, if you see the amount of big companies right now that keep going under, Philips Hue is equally as likely to go bust. The second thing is, it didn't cost you that much in the first place. If it all stopped working tomorrow, you didn't really lose that much cash. Uh, if Philips Hue gets bought by Google, they could flipping ruin it. They flipping ruined Nest very recently, and they could just buy Philips Hue tomorrow and then destroy it. Uh, they are not likely to buy the Toyo Smart Life platform because it's in China, for one thing. Uh, so, there are a few reasons to think that this thing isn't suddenly going to go under, and even if it did, you would probably find that because the platform is this popular, someone on the internet would hack it and make it locally accessible on your network so you could continue to use it using brand new software. I'm going to start this whole thing out with the price, because the difference is stupendous. Uh, so the Philips Hue stuff, if you want the equivalence of these three bulbs that I've got here today, you're looking at £153. 153 flipping pounds for their stupid starter kit, I hate them. The Nova Stellar bulbs that I'm using at the moment, they were like £54, I think? Wait, let me check, I don't remember. £54. £54 versus 150 wait a minute, £136. Stupid. Flipping stupid. From an end results operational perspective, there is no difference. I mean, it's a coloured bulb. What did you expect it to do? Uh, if you compare them side by side, which I have obviously done because I'm a super professional, uh, they look like this. I couldn't uh, find a colour in the Philips Hue app that I couldn't generate in the Smart Life app. They are exactly the same in every way. The Nova Stella bulbs don't require a hub. Yay! This is kind of a big deal for lots of people because most of us don't want to stick another flipping hub into our stupid flipping router to connect our stupid flipping bulbs to the stupid flipping internet. Oh. Uh, this thing bypasses the hub by doing everything via Wi-Fi, so it just connects via Wi-Fi to your router, off to the internet, job done. Question is, why do Philips you do this? And the answer is Zigbee. 
Uh, Zigbee is a protocol that their hub uses to talk to the bulbs because too many Wi-Fi connections makes your router poop its pants. Uh, so if you're wondering, is there a disadvantage to these bulbs? The disadvantage is once you've got lots of them and you've got lots of other Wi-Fi devices, your router might itself. <laughs> That's not what you want. Uh, the way you can get around this is by spending almost exactly the same money as you would for your Philips Hue starter kit and buy, as well as these bulbs, a ubiquity super strength awesome wireless router. This obviously gives you all the benefits of having a really good wireless router, but also it won't itself. Which I guess brings me to possibly the main point of this video. Why bother spending the money on Philips Hue stuff just to get Zigbee when you might as well get a ubiquity router for the same cost and have all the advantages of a really, really good wireless network and not need a stupid Philips Hue hub? There isn't a reason. Philips Hue costs a flipping ton of money, so it should react more quickly than the Nova Stella bulb should, shouldn't it? Uh, I'm going to start out using the app, so if I switch the Philips Hue lamp off, there is a delay. If I open up the Nova Stella app, or the Smart Life app rather, uh, and switch the Nova Stella bulb off, it goes off instantaneously. Uh, if I now go to She That Should Not Be Named, I've created a routine which should switch them both on at the exact same time. In fact, I've set it up so the Nova Stella bulb should go on second, so out of the two things, I've prioritised this one. If I now press play against that routine, Philips Hue loses. I'm sorry Philips Hue, you suck. The Philips Hue hub has one main advantage over the Smart Life products, and that is, if your internet goes down, you can still control your bulbs via the app. Oh no! The internet's gone down! How will you control your lights now? Of course! Use your mobile phone, because your lights are the most important thing at a time like this! Great. When did your internet connection last actually go down? And let me be clear, if it does go down, she that should not be named and Google Home and if this then that still won't be able to connect to your Philips Hue, you'll just be able to use the app on your phone. So think of it this way, when your internet last went down, which is probably never, how bothered were you that you couldn't switch your bulbs off using your phone? I can see the Philips Hue owners now foaming at the mouth going, but what if the Toyo Smart Life service goes bust? What if they stop running as a company? Then you're screwed. If that happens to Philips Hue, I'll still be able to use my mobile phone at least. No, you won't. No, you won't, because the app isn't going to last forever, is it? Without the company there to give the app the updates, it will eventually die. Uh, the outcome is exactly the same, but you spent that amount of money on Philips Hue and that amount of money on Toya Smart Life products. So, why? Why? If you think the Chinese are spying on you, through your light bulb, then I don't think I will ever convince you that that's not the case, because you're mental. But if you are concerned about your privacy and your security, go check out the Toya website. Now, go check it out now. I'll, I'll literally wait. <laughs> the website itself actually shows you they are like ISO compliant, which is a major deal. When I worked at an ISP, we were desperately trying to get ISO compliance because that is a huge thing. Uh, the GDPR compliant, uh, they have FCC, which is something that Americans concern themselves with, uh, and they're an AWS trusted backbone partner, so they're using Amazon's AWS server to do things like data storage for the cameras and that sort of thing. So if you're using a camera across the Smart Life service, what well, goes on Amazon's AWS platform, and it is all perfectly secure. If that doesn't convince you, well, nothing will. Argue with me in the comments about it. I'll ignore you. There is only one other possible complaint I can think of that anyone would have against this product, and that is, they want to be able to control it locally. Guess what, Home Assistant fans? Yes, I'm looking at you, the ones that keep commenting saying, Paul, check out Home Assistant! Paul, check out Home Assistant! Uh, Home Assistant has local support for Toya devices, so that's it. No more arguments. I win! I win, Philips Hue! You do suck, I proved it! If you're thinking, Philips Hue can connect to Ikea and God knows how many other Zigbee products, uh, you won't believe the number of things that this Smart Life app can control and be controlled by. They even have their own Zigbee hub, I reviewed it. 
Uh, go check that out. Uh, their Zigbee Hub has like door opener sensors and motion sensors and all sorts of things that can then trigger off lights or cameras or anything you want. Uh, the limit is your imagination and that is it. In the interests of complete transparency and total fairness, I'm going to tell you the one thing that I found that Philips Hue can do that Smart Life cannot. Uh, Philips Hue does this great thing where you can have it bring the lights up super slowly in the morning to wake you up more naturally, and I love that. Smart Life does not have that right now, I, at least not that I can find. Uh, Toya, perhaps do that. Do that, and then literally there is no reason. Um, I can't think of anything else. If you can, though, hit me up in the comments and tell me, Paul, you're wrong, you jerk, because Philips, you can do this, and I'll point you to a place at this video, no doubt, uh, and you'll go away sad with a thumbs down on my... On my video, probably. That would suck. Uh, I would rather you gave it a thumbs up. If you have enjoyed this video, please do that. Uh, if you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button. Uh, you can come and hang out with me at all of the social medias and help me to make these videos like these amazing people here do. Uh, these are my patrons. They give me a tiny amount each month and it keeps me doing what I'm doing. Come and do that. Please come and do that. Uh, either Patreon or buy me a one-off beer at PayPal and I'll see you next time. Hello, angry Philips Hue owners that have come simply to... Stop it, the boy. Boy, the boy. ...has been put together simply because... ...because... Well, it's cheap. It's rubbish. It isn't cheap. It's... It is cheap. It is. <laughs> who made this... made these bulbs? I'm going to tell you who made these bulbs. <laughs> 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 <laughs>